Hello, it's Bob from Trappers Point Camp. Uh, my beautiful wife Rhoda got me some uh, nice Christmas gifts this year. They're called the Trigger. And uh, I'm just gonna show them off. Doing a little ice fishing out, out in front of the camp, as you can see. And uh, here's the tip ups. So kind of hold your rod at the same time. It goes into this little metal rod that you can bend for sensitivity. And you wrap it up around the black piece there. And down in the water she goes. So far they're uh, two for two. Um, trying to uh, get some on video. We'll see how it goes. Um, caught a 44 incher about a week ago now and ever since it's been a little slower than i thought it would be thought i'd catch uh some walleyes once the pike got out of there but nope not the case there's the setup i got two of them back to back just fishing uh close to camp eventually i'll uh go out further gonna try to do a lot of videos this uh winter see what i can do with the border being closed and everything since I'm up here, I might as well have some fun out here ice fishing. I got my otter right over there to stay warm. It's not that cold. It's about negative two right now, Celsius. Hopefully I'll be able to show some videos with the uh, trigger in action. Okay, there we go. Let's see what happens. That, uh, I was sitting in the uh, shack and uh, it went off. And by the time I got to it, it went off and it did go back down a couple times and uh, he, he got off. So we're gonna see if he uh, is willing to come back, to be honest, and go from there. Hopefully you get to see this trigger in action now that I know there's uh, probably a walleye nice and close. Hopefully that's a good camera angle and you'll get to see the action. Ugh. Had a good hit there though. Let's see. Yeah, you should see me fight it. I'll try to pop her up some more here. Might not see my head, but you get to see the trigger in action, hopefully. So, been kind of a boring day for about an hour. I don't know, I've been out here maybe an hour. And uh, just kind of sitting in the old shack, getting nice and warm. And sitting in the old shack there, getting nice and warm, and watching, talking to some people on Facebook message. I'm, I'm close enough to the camp where I get Wi Fi. So I was just sitting there talking and all of a sudden I heard something, I looked up and sure shit it. It uh, went up, down and down again, down again, so it was on. And by the time I got to it, uh, it got off. So it worked its way off, it got off the hook. So I don't know if you'll be back, if it'll be a feeding frenzy or if it's just a one and done, we'll find out. Hopefully it won't be a one and done. We're gonna hope this bite uh, happens soon. I'm gonna put the phone here just so you guys can uh, see the trigger go off. I got to, I missed it, it was so quick. Basically, if you ain't watching closely, it'll trigger real quick. <clears throat> as soon as that fish hits it enough, depending on the sensitivity that I set it to, she'll pop up quick. And that's what happened, I was in the tent. Browse down at the phone and boom, she went off. Fix, fix the angle on that. There we go. Got 
there he is he's back i can see him i can see him hitting it it's gonna trigger it there it goes there it goes ah got him i'm gonna stay down low so you can see me yeah i could see that trigger i could see that trigger oh there he is nice walleye nice walleye look at that bad boy so i could see that trigger bouncing while i was holding the phone and sure enough he came back and i still got the minnow that's the best part about it because uh they're a little scarce right now a little scarce right now oh that's a nice probably a 18 uh 18 and 19 inch walleye wasn't sure if he was going to come back but i really wanted to see that trigger in action that's uh birthday or not birthday gift christmas gift my beautiful wife rhoda she got me a couple of them i'll be honest i might have been a little eh, no i wasn't really skeptical i guess but uh hopefully you can see me in the picture i don't know if i'm low enough but uh i'll get nice and close so yeah he came back so i'm gonna get that set up i'm gonna show you how to set this thing up it's so simple but uh I'd say it's a nice, probably a nice 18 to 19 inch walleye. I'll have to get the measuring tape out in a little bit. So we'll throw him on the ice away from the hole. That's what you call dinner. Um, so now I'm gonna go ahead and set it up since the middle's there. Try to set this phone in so you can see it. Okay. Wow, so you got to see it in action. Okay. So yeah, I saw it bouncing. And sure enough, that was him biting, and eventually he pushed hard enough. Ooh, I better fix this minnow, maybe. Yeah, he almost ripped the minnow right off, so I gotta fix this. I like to hook it in the middle of the tail. Well, no, that one I did in the middle of the back. This one I'm gonna do in the tail, I guess. So I'll tail hook it. There we go. Okay, well, we'll see if there's more than one today. First walleye of 2020 off the dock, or 2021. Can't forget 2020, that was a bad one saying it mildly okay so what i do when i set this up stick her all in there right so there's bottom obviously lines tight there's bottom i don't know if you could see that uh, in the camera i'll be using my gopro pro pretty soon so there's bottom so i'll crank that up now until it's tight okay so now there's bottom so i'll set it again and there's bottom right there so then i'll bring this mechanism over slide the eye of the rod right in it and then put the tension back up on it now it brings it up a little as you can see but then i go another inch to two inches is what it's doing probably and you can simply just if you got your drag loose enough which i don't should be it's probably froze there we go it was just froze a little you can drag it set the drag out you can reel it in during this it won't won't set it off um as you saw when the fish hits it it wiggles and eventually boom pops right so that's what happened and it's a canadian company road i got it from i think close to Barrie, ontario somewhere over there so yeah <clears throat> i don't know if i can switch the angle of the camera but uh so yeah there was my introduction of them Ugh, took a good hour um i don't know something just told me to come out fishing and uh so yeah i decided to decided to come out fishing and boy glad i did i i caught the two pike well rhoda caught one i caught one and then i caught two little guys and uh running out of fish so i said well let's go i'm gonna go out and try to catch my ass rhoda if she wanted to come down she might still come down if the action gets hot but uh yeah, nice, nice walleye. I mean, you can't can't go wrong with something like this. Nice, beautiful walleye. So anyways, yeah, so that's the trigger. Uh, boy, I mean, you saw it in action. Worked great. Same with my first two pike. To be honest, I probably lost it the first time because I was trying to get the video back started because I uh, was sitting for an hour, like I said. And, uh, you know, ain't gonna have a phone video going for an hour long waiting for the bite so i was just like oh we'll, we'll see what happens maybe i won't get nothing maybe i will um but there that's what i got so that's the setup she just sits in there it's got a little groove that the rod sits in and then there's that lever 
and you can bend it. And that adjusts how hard the fish has to hit to get it to set itself. Um, that's how I knew it was coming. I put the phone down quick. Hopefully you saw everything. Um, basically I saw it start bouncing. It started sliding, you know, it started sliding up this pole. So I, I seen it start going like this and then it starts sliding. And I'm like, oh, it's coming. So, and then it's, hopefully you got it on video. I won't know until I watch it. But uh, anyways, I'll uh, show you what else I get today. Maybe I'll get some more. Maybe it'll be a good night bite. Late, like I say, it's the first walleye, it's the first walleye of uh, 2021. So uh, I don't know. I, I, I know I know a lot of good spots, but I don't know if the ice is uh, good there yet. So I'm waiting until a couple more weeks to go play around out there. I played around out here and I got a lot of slush about, oh geez, that's gotta be about two weeks ago. So for about two weeks now, yeah, since the first of the year, sure. I, uh, you know, I've, I've gotten holes here. This is where I got the pike. Um, but I'm positive I had a walleye bite right off the dock. There's a hole in the shack there. It's froze over just like these. But uh, this was initially my holes here, right? And I got one right off the dock. That's the one where I'll be posting a video of a 36 inch pike that I caught. Um, that one ran straight to the pipes there. So I retired that hole. I'm like, that was stupid. You, know, you hate to lose a monster just because you got a hole right next to the shack. I even had a hole here. But there you can see the slush I hit. So, wasn't willing to go out too far. I'd say there's about a foot of ice here now though, so it, it, it's different. Like this is all, this is all, this was all slush. Now it's froze. So, eventually I'm going to go play out a little deeper. Um, and go from there. So yeah. Bob from Trappers Point Camp, first walleye 2021, and I'll be making a lot of videos. I got a little gadget I'm going to buy soon, and uh, once that comes in, you're going to get to see some nice action this year for uh, the winter. Since the border's closed, I might as well play around and make some videos. Hope you enjoyed uh, the video of the trigger.